yeah. Okay. Oh, excellent. Uh, so last week, just a small, quick little recap. After a little bit of digging and investigating, uh, our team found ourselves back on on um, not Varden's farm. Jesus, Varden, when did you become a farmer? <laughs> Damn. That does seem to be the consensus for a lot of my characters is they wanted to end up being farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Rico Telia's farm? Yes, we made it to Rico Telia's farm. We're half the party at the farm. Discovered that, uh... That the team is... Or that the township is being watched by persons unknown. And that in order to further properly investigate this, without fear of tipping off the bandits... They're kind of doing a lot of stuff under the table. Yeah. <sighs> While they were at the farm figuring things out, Varden and Aaron both managed to make it all the way from town to the river, where they found a clearing. Described in a few of the ex uh, um, expositional pieces delivered by the uh, NPCs. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm a, little, I'm a little worn down, but it's been a long day. And after doing a little digging, finding the uh, the drop stump, Varden and Arn fly up into a tree and wait. After a time, the rest of the group manage to stumble across the same clearing. And when seeing a, uh, a weird light-like entity face plant into the ground... The group, uh, group two did find uh, everybody else up in the tree. Uh, the other people up in the tree. God, I can't talk tonight. Uh, I need alcohol. Continue. I need to go get some pills for my head. No problem, brother. I need some pills, but... Anyway. So, yeah. As our group sat and wait for a little while, they eventually happened to notice a few folks sneaking, hooded folks sneaking up into the camp. Mm-hmm. Where our dear Kalen, yep, where dear Kalen had a uh, wonderful illusion of what looked like a bunch of bags of radishes. And we are going to go ahead and pick it up from there. So as you guys are watching, one of the two figures walks up to the uh, to the illusion of radishes, and he cautiously reaches up, and his hand passes right through them. Dig it up, jump on. I have my hand resting on my <laughs> hip. I I will um. I can't see anything. Sorry, I just got moving. <laughs> was busy for a minute. <laughs> there it works, sweetheart. It makes sense. Yeah, except for when we're in a time schedule thing. God. <clears throat> um, so good. Uh, Tell him to all get the fuck out. I, I was. Welcome back. Hello, kitty. Hello, welcome back. You didn't miss much, just one of the uh, the hooded figures grabbed the bags of radishes and their hands passed right through. Hmm. Well, the jig is up. Uh, okay. Do they know that we're there? Or they just know that it's probably a trap? Probably they a trap just, because it's an illusion. Yeah, yeah they just put their hand there. They are definitely aware that people are nearby, but they don't know exactly where. So, 
<clears throat> and then I got my hand, or my hand sitting on my hip, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Well. Um. I'm going to cast around the, um. Like, I'm going to cast so kind of, not really around our area, but kind of close so that we're still in it. Like a fog cloud that just kind of starts coming in. Nice, nice. I'm going to collapse. <laughs> <laughs> now, he has been constantly casting mind or illusion for the last, I don't know how long. <laughs> A couple of hours or two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use, it's going to be my once a day um, fog cloud. How big is the cloud? Like, it'd be enough to obscure us, correct? Yes, it's a fog 20... A 20 foot yeah. cube? Yeah, it's, 20 it's a 20... Yeah, it's a 20 foot sphere. Um, that is, it, 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 the area is heavily obscured. It lasts for duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed up to at least 10 miles per hour disperses it. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, I want to make it so how it is is that it, it hit it, it gets us with the corn, it, it hits us with like the end of it, but it spreads over the water slightly into the area. So that, and I'll whisper going, go, go, go. And I start getting down from the tree. <laughs> uh, uh. So with this, they are now aware that something is going down, and I'm going to have everybody do initiative. Okay. Me too. Question: Is that fog cloud gonna make it? Ow! Gonna make it difficult for us to see? Yes. It's gonna make it difficult for everybody to see. Sadly. The fuck. Um, I need. It's so that we can, so I can get down from the tree. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's simple. You just fall. Well, sixteen. F. I got a ten for my initiative. Ouchie. Yeah, plus word of initiative, I had to roll a six for the game. Thank you. I'm going last. <laughs> 19. What'd you, what'd you roll, Rosia? 10. Wait, am I muted? Wait. No, no, no. I'm here. Oh, okay. I rolled dirty 20. My dice said no on the initiative roll, apparently. Well, I have a pretty <laughs> decent initiative. So do I! I have a I plus, plus five. five! Wow, you beat mine. I have a plus four. <laughs> What'd you get there? Oh, I got 16. 16? Okay. I rolled on D&D Beyond because I'm at work. Oh, you could, I okay. thought you thought. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that open yet. Oh. Okay. There we go. Ooh, it was a dice set. Yeah, it's my fuzzy dice. It's been kind of nice to be except for the one time I rolled that once, twice in a row. Mmm, <laughs> fuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy wasn't fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> Do not fuzzy ask me why I just did was that. actually on the uh, watch list. <laughs> I'm going to smack my dog. <laughs> Beat hey. Fuzzy Wuzzy was on the registry. All right. All right. Uh... Uh, let's see. Let me get these guys. <laughs> uh, but, but, Aaron, your dexterity is plus four. Hmm? Yep. 
Oh, I thought you had a. I thought you said you had a plus five. Okay, no, you and me are the same then. <laughs> <laughs> Bandit two goes here. I just realized I was muted again. That's okay. All right. Since Bandit one got a nat twenty, what is Var? Well, so I guess you and Varden both those. Varden has what does he got? Also plus four to dexterity. Um, where's my thingy? Okay. Varden, you go first. Alright. Uh, I'm going to assume from what Aaron said, I guess we're running? No! I was saying we can go. We can go get them. Oh. I'm covered. Covered. Yeah, okay, that did not help at all then. I was trying to cover us. Get down the tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Fly up into the air, I guess. Okay. Like I said, it's only a 20 foot thing, so you can probably see above. And... I'm gonna fly 30 feet up. Uh, mm -hmm. And then... Oh, yeah, okay, I can't do that yet. Um, then I'm going to... How many did you say there were? Just the two people in the clearing. Oh, okay, okay. Just, just two people, okay. Um... Mm, do you match that? Then I'm going to, I guess, do Scorching Ray on... I'm going to do two on one of them and one on the other, I guess. Um, so I have to roll to attack. That's with a plus six. So that's a 17 plus six for one of them. Uh, so well, that hit. Okay. Yep, that hit. Uh, 17? Oh, 17 downs him. Well, no, that's um, that's for the second bolt. Oh, for the second bolt. 17, that also hits. Okay. Um, I'll roll the next one after. That way I don't get the damage mixed up. Okay. Um, so that one's going to be the two of them. I have a question, though. Each beam, that's each beam's 2d6, uh, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Then, yep. since that one's getting hit with two, um, seven plus nine, nine, ten, nine, sixteen damage. Uh, or... sixteen damage will down him. All right, and then for the other guy. Da, 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 da. That is a 12 plus 6. 18. 18. Uh, 12 plus 6 to hit? Yep. Yes. Okay. Ooh, snake eyes. Or fire damage. And then, mm, yeah. Crunchy. Yep, and I don't have anything else, so I'm going to end my turn just uh, my wings flapping in the sky above the tree. Uh, Kaylin, you are next. Okay. Um... Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to cast Suggestion on the last one alive. They must make a wisdom saving throw. Unless they're immune to charms. And my suggestion is it's going to surrender and tie itself up. What does it need to be? Uh, 15. Uh, he fails. Okay. He throws down his throws down his sword. Stand still. Uh, but, 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 but. Where did you go? Give me a second here, I'm reading something. Out of the trees unseen, he gets hit with a with a crossbow bolt, which kills him. Yeah, okay. That also would have broken the spell. <laughs> ah. Can I turn in the direction the crossbow bolt came from? See, maybe if I could see what, or not what. And... Oh, wow. shit. I, mean, I would I... say Rosie would see that. Rosie would see this, but she is unfor the only one who would see this, but she is unfortunately obscured by a fog cloud. Mm -hmm. Of course, everything. I <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> no, it's all good. Grumpy pants. <laughs> She's in pain and at work. Give her some slack here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Aaron, you are a oh um. Kaylin, did you want to do anything else? That's all I can do. Do you want to move it all, or...? I was going to stumble out into the clearing when I saw it was successful. Excellent. No problem. Next is Aaron. Uh, I'm going to get... Oh, <laughs> I'm going to try and get out. I, I want to get out of the tree. Well, that's simple. Fall. I'm not falling. <laughs> Try and be graceful. Yes. <laughs> no. All right. Gotcha. So, yes, I want That's to climb down out of the tree. Oh. Mm. Hello. Excuse me. Um, the customer stopped being fuck faces. Uh, roll attack against customer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so I'm just trying to try and get get down, and I'm and I, I I'm pretty sure that's gonna take my whole action to get down, so I'm going to go ahead and give um. Yeah. Oh, not that one features. I'm going to go ahead and as a bonus action, give Varden Bardic Inspiration. Excellent. And like I said, oh. I'm just gonna try and get down. I, 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 if you mean need, need me roll ac acrobatics or <laughs> athletics, just let me know. Just acrobatics. I okay. feel like that's the terrifying thing to see, though. Coming out of a tree is just like there's fog oh, and then out of nowhere, <laughs> a <laughs> demon <laughs> flies up out of the tree. Bam, bam, scorching red. So I, I got a fifteen. Yeah, you, yeah, you make it just fine. So that's my turn. All right. <clears throat> so, nah. out of the edge of the trees is going to come the third bandit. And he is going to raise his crossbow. Nat 20. Whoops. 
against Varden. Mm-hmm. The only person oh. he can clearly see. Well, I'm also in the clearing. Oh, yeah, true. I forgot about that. But Varden is presenting flying. the more the yes. more intense target right now. Oh, yeah. I was just <laughs> making sure you knew. Just raises up my hand. Bah! <laughs> and he hits you cleanly right in the shoulder and does a nice chunky uh, 11 points of damage. I whips from the pain as the arrow goes through. Ah! Oh, by the way, DM, I got a question. 42. The first guy that I hit, was he, in all intents and purposes, down to zero HP? Oh, yeah, you, you, you killed him. Oh, okay, okay. So, with that knowledge, because I killed a hostile creature... Uh, I gained seven temporary hit points. Mm-hmm. Excellent. So, minus 11. So, I'm at 26 current hit points. Yeah. And yeah, I get that you... for every creature I kill. Yep. Nice. I knew, right? I I like that it doesn't have a prerequisite of, like... Because from the looks of it, it's like you don't have to burn them. And so, I'm just like, imagine if I made a fighter... <laughs> <laughs> with this one on it just <laughs> stack 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 well temporary hit points don't stack with it no but like you know like imagine if i like hit i have full health i get hit and then i kill yeah. another person it's just like my health just keeps going back up it is a like, pretty nice idea so bandit three is going to dip back behind a tree i'm going to point him out before he does i'm like ah he's over there and that's gonna... came from. Oh, yeah. And that's going to end his turn. Rosia, it's your turn. I can't see him, can I? Because of the frog. You are obscured. You, you are currently barely obscured by fog. Mm, barely obscured? Damn. I'd have to use my action to get out of the tree. Fuck. Ow. Eh. Okay. I'll, I'll you get... could jump oh. out of the tree. <laughs> I think jumping <laughs> would still take an action. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, fine. Feign dead out of the tree. <laughs> Requires nothing but just complete lack of upper body. Just, just fall good. straight out of the tree. <clears throat> oh, do I want to do that? Probably not. No, wait, that's not what I was looking at. There it is. Another fucking thing. Okay, yeah. I just, I'll just use my action to get out of the tree so I have a better line of sight of the dude. Because I'm pretty sure that's all I can do. Mm. Or graciously try to climb down. Where the hell? I keep forgetting where I put all my things. What do you need me to roll to get out of the tree? Without hurting myself? Acrobatics! Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, where's my acrobatics? There it is. Just because of the more dexterous nature of having to, you know, hands over feet and whatnot. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Uh, uh, what 20 do I want to roll? Oh, good God. And she falls out of the tree and breaks her neck. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, it was 13. Ow. Oh, 13? Mm-hmm. You make it. You, you scuff your arm up a little bit, but not enough to take any damage. But you get down fine. Okay, Dave. Admit, can, can I see him now, or no? No, you would still be obscured by fog. Actually, a little bit more than you were when you were up in the tree. Oh, lovely. That's fine. It's like I could go from tree to tree. Well, I probably could, but anyway. Okay. Jump from one tree, grabs onto it with your axe. (laughs) Uh, 
pulls the thong, catches the branch, branch falls. Oh man, that was still one of the best things I ever saw Thunk do, was just jump from one pillar to the next and headbutt the fucking spike in the <laughs> mouth. Grossly get impaled. I think it'd be funny if, like, you know, Rosio is just like, I take out my gun and I shoot the branch so it drops on it. <laughs> all right, is that the end of your turn there, Rose? Yeah, I think that's I think that's all I can do unless I want to burn an accent surge, but I kind of don't want to. So yeah. All right, so he's dead. Oh no! Then that brings us back to the sky and. And another guy pops out at the other edge of the clearing, raises his crossbow, and fires at Kalen this time. Okay. Does that mean another one entered the fray? Yes. Okay. Please. And in the hastiness of his action, he not only fires and misses, but he drops his crossbow as he scrambles back to get back behind the tree. Ooh. As he as he made a beautiful nat one. Mm. Well, that, uh, that. And then he's dead, so that brings us um, that brings us back to Varden. Hey all. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a very very interesting day. Let's see. I can only cast <clears throat> one Eldritch Blast as far as I know. Uh, as far as I know, correct? That the, I, As far as I can tell, there's only two left from the current group. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, how far apart distance-wise are they? Oh, there wait, no, may I, be... can't, I can't see the other one because he. you specifically said he went back into cover. They both did. Yeah, they, they both they both went back behind trees, behind cover. So then I wouldn't be able to see it. Not directly. No, you you can see the trees there behind, but that's about it. Hmm. Oh, damn, that's fucked. They want you out of. They want you out of the sky. How far away is the like? How close? How how close is? Uh, the new guy that came out, the one that I absolutely foobarred. Uh, from which geogra geographical point? Uh, the... from, from you, from the other guy? Yeah, from, from, from me. From you? Yeah. Like, is he 30? Is he 40? He, he would be 30 feet from you. Um, I, I really want to do this, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Like, literally. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna swoop down and go to that dude. Okay. Uh, am I currently in front of him, or am I currently in front of the tree? It would take you to the tree. Okay. What if I light the tree on fire? I light him on fire with the tree. <laughs> I tie him to the tree. Um, so I can't see him then because he is currently behind a tree. Yes. Okay. Uh. Oh. Wait. Ah, oh, damn. No. There. <gasps> wait. Okay. DM. Question. Um, if I used arms of Adar. 
because it is a 10 foot sphere uh, around me and anything nearby would get hit could I potentially hit him uh, being behind a tree Uh, because it says you invoke the power of Hadar. Oh and yeah. Because, yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna like summon a whole bunch of like arms and uh. Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw on a failed save. A target takes two d six necrotic damage. Uh, and can't take reactions until it's turn on successful, the creature takes half, except for the fact that this one becomes three because it's leveled up. So I need him to make a strength of 14. And since he's fully behind the tree, I am going to give him advantage. Okay. Um, Which doesn't matter because he fails both either way. Cool. 3d6 then. Two, that's a six, and that's a six, and that's a two. So that's 14. Necrotic. Uh, and if he ain't dead yet, for some ungodly reason, he can't take reactions until the next, uh, until its next turn. Well, as it happens, as your tentacles lash out, wrap around the tree, they squeeze him so tightly that they just crush his poor little windpipe. Do I break the tree too? That'd be funny, though. No, nope, but the tree is definitely straining, as you can definitely hear. Aside from creaking and cracking bones, you do hear a little creaking wood. Okay. The tree seems to resist your pull. All right, cool. Uh, I use my movement. I use my action. Uh, I will end my turn. All right. Kalen, what are you up to? Um, where the last guy is? Yes. I'm going to throw a sleep spell. Oh. So. Thanks. Uh, your... Oh, there's a character sheet. Jesus. There's a uh, which level? Twenty-four hit points worth of stuff goes to sleep over there. Uh, Hopefully, I didn't just put a sleep like all the critters in the tree. <laughs> the birds, just okay. No, sir. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely puts him to sleep. As you see him just kind of slump to the ground and just kind of fall off to the side of the tree asleep. He got knocked the fuck out. Since he's asleep, I'm gonna end. I'm not gonna end combat, but I'm. I'm gonna go, go ahead and finish the round of people's actions here, quick. Since he is currently the only per person oppositioning you that is alive, Aaron, uh, oh no, Caitlin, do you do anything else? Um, well, when I see him slump over, I'm going to start walking towards him. All right, you should be able to get to him, no problem. He's only about 25 feet away. Cool. That's it. All right, and then Aaron, you're up next. Um, I'm going to disappear disperse the cloud and kind of walk up and um i'm going to actually tie one of the um the ones that went down i'm going to tie him up and heal him to sta and stabilize him I will 
much. I will give you that to Bandit B. All right. Any, anything else you want to do? Yeah. Nope, that's it. All right, Rosia, what do you do? What would I need to roll to tie up the one that's sleeping without waking him up? If I can get close enough. Yeah, you'd be able to cross the clearing to get to him and tie him up. Do I need to roll anything to make sure I don't wake him up? Ow. I would say to avoid injuring him, I would definitely give me a sleight of hand. Oh, God. For all intents and purposes, are we out of combat? Almost. Let's see what happens with Rosia here. 16. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Yes, sixteen would not hurt him. Would I wake him up? Is my question. No, no you you didn't cause any mm -hmm. damage to him. So. Oh yeah, duh. Okay. Yeah, if you don't hurt him, you don't wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta use your action or slap him away. Or throw water on him. Or burn up. Or kiss him. No, that probably wouldn't do anything to wake him up. It'd be, um, it'd be an that? interesting way to wake up. Roll for horny <laughs> to see if it wakes him up. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Rosia! Hmm? As you're standing back up from tying him up, you take a dagger to the shoulder. Ow! For seven points of damage. Ow! How's he? Who'd you piss off? Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, damage. There we go. Uh, did I see it come from somewhere? Like, being thrown? I was like, I whirled around as soon as it hit me in the shoulder and was like, ow! And it went, who the fuck hit me? Well, <sighs> you happen to see coming out of the trees from over by where Kaylin. And Aaron, or no, Karen and uh, Kaylin and Rosia. Jesus, I can't get people's names right tonight. I am all screwed up here. We're all struggling. You see another bandit. This one wearing a bit heavier armor. And this guy definitely primed for battle. Comes strolling out of the tree. And the dagger came from him? It did. Mm. I wanna you can definitely. I was gonna say you can definitely see that he is of half orc descent. Oh boy. He's missing one tusk and one ear on the same side, and that side of his face is a little bit uh, scratched up. Okay. Well, I since I whirled around because I got just suddenly slammed in the shoulder with a dagger, I want to see where it came from. I want to. Pull the dagger out of my shoulder as I turned. Ow. Like, oh, great. There's more of them. Now, is this an orc with a C or orc with a K? Orc with the the hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Do they do DACA or not? It does oh not wear in trouble. I know, right? Jeez, I don't it's know. wearing all red. Oh god. Oh no, it's got oh. speed boost. And it was my action to tie the guy up, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm yes. just making sure. Terrifying. So right now it is effectively Varden's turn. Oh yeah, handle. Yep. Uh do I would I see this guy? You would have noticed the 
Yeah, he stepped out into the opening right oh, after the attack, and you definitely would have heard the attack. Okay. Um. Me just growling pain. How far out would he be? From you, he'd be about 25 feet away. Gotcha. <laughs> do I dare do what I think I want to do? No. I don't. Because that would be raw dumb. Um, I'm gonna hit him with a firebolt. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna say something very stupid and infernal when I cast it. I'm gonna say <laughs> firebolt, but then I'm gonna go Alec Blam. <laughs> What the fuck? What the heck? And point at him to attack. Oh what the fuck? Blade's in a mood. That's fine. Alec Blam. Well, that's a 17 with a 6. 23. Yeah. <laughs> that's a 20. Oh, how did I put a... uh, that hits. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're if fighting something that can take in over 20 AC. We're gonna have an issue. Oh, no, it's not a D6, it's a D10. You. Oh. oh. Eh. Max damage! 10 fire. As all you guys here in Infernal, but I doubt any of you can actually understand Infernal. But correct nope. me if I'm wrong. Uh, I, <laughs> it's just... Can... <laughs> 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 all we hear is... <laughs> <laughs> yep, and just blam. <laughs> Rosia may have guns, but I've got the best weapon known to man: finger guns. Alex, blam. Oh my! Alex, blam. <laughs> yes, and burning hands is my buckshot. Blam. Uh... Oh man! Beautiful. If I had fireball, it'd be my rocket. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear a sound effect from the sky. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, so ten fire damage. Ten fire damage, beautiful. Yeah. Firebolt hits him, and he just kind of dust off the soot, and he's ready for more. And hey, don't forget that you have all the cancellation items. Oh yeah, what uh, what 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 does that do again? You get to that add. One... D4? Yeah, I think it's a D4. It's very early. So. Yeah. Um, you get to yeah. add a D4 to an attack, a save, an ability check. Yeah, I think spell. I have to do that before. No, it's a D6. It's a D6. Oh, D6. Yeah, I have to do um, that, D6. I think, before yeah. uh, I uh, ability so. check, Yeah, ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Mm, nah, it's I'm not just... new. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't do it because I already announced uh, and what damage know. was. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh what I and you hit anyway, so don't matter. Uh specific so when I was looking at him, can I specifically see if he was wielding any long range, like as I hit him? Because if not, I'm gonna fly back up into the sky. You can see several more daggers around his hips and thighs. Visible at least four more. I'm a fly. Only a D4. <laughs> it's only a D4, but it depends. Can this man attack more than one? It's just... I'm going to say D4. I took seven damage. And we... Well, it's a D4 plus whatever your... Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Nah, you know what? Fuck that. I'm dashing straight towards him. As... Like, I'm just going to go... Boom! <laughs> and run up to him. I'm meeting this man okay. in combat. Okay. I'm gonna spit at him. I'm gonna just gonna run up and go. And just, I'm like I'm ready. I just realized something. Hmm. I never left the area. Is, is he like right next to me or something? Oh, no. Yes, he's about ten feet from you. <laughs> oh, okay. oh no. Oh, hi. 
as I see that she has not. Oh no, I did. I did. Uh, no, I I did clean this. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. I forgot. I did go into the clearing because I had to tie that guy up and stabilize him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh -huh. I told Otherwise, oh, he would have walked up right behind you. But... <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> All right. So up, to the, up next, we got Kaylin. Um, I'm gonna cast suggestion on him to surrender. <laughs> I suggest you put down all your dagger. <laughs> Brings out Falch. <laughs> it's like, damn it. So, what does he need to roll? Wisdom? Yep. We're right back. He's the 15. <laughs> oh my gosh, they got a better organ than his back. <laughs> I can definitely tell it's basically it seems to have put him in a little bit better mood. I was gonna say he seems exceptionally happy. <laughs> oh, that was an actual real shit roll. So he does not make his save. Wow. <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> these guys just seem to want to listen to the Wizard Keelan. Is making these fights really anticlimactic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> So what does the bad guy do? Well, whose turn's next? Um, was that the extent of your suggestion? Excuse me. Was to surrender. Yep. As he currently has no weapons in his hands, he is just standing there. <laughs> Are we still uh, in which point he, at which point he kind of puts his hands up goes I surrender <laughs> <laughs> okay it's a question <laughs> which turn is it I apparently broke this up I apparently broke this uh, up do you do anything else Kayla um I'll walk over to him. With the intent to tie him up. That's what I was gonna do. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. Well, I'm muted. Well, I can't tie him up this turn. I'm just walking mm. over there to do it. Yes, I was gonna tie him up too if I had the chance. <laughs> Roll is gonna tie the bandits up. I wonder what they're into. I wonder if they like that. I'm back. Welcome back. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't miss the bandit. Oh, the bandit straight up fucking failed his goddamn suggestion. <laughs> uh, was told to surrender, so he put his hands up in the air and surrendered. <laughs> yes, right. Okay. Uh, it's Aaron's turn. Um, I am going to, uh, I, since I made sure this guy, this other guy was stabilized, I'm going to walk over to the bandit guy with rope and go and get behind him and tie him up. Cute. Okay, please don't hit me. <laughs> please Give me a strength hurt. saving throw. Okay. Oh, that's gonna suck. That's annoying. As you go to put the rope around him, he shoves you back. Oh, okay. And pulls out one of his daggers. Oh, fuck. You broke the suggestion. Well, 
That was mm. kind of my action. So, um, I will, after bonus action... Because you pushed party. you away, you can move? Because you've only used about 10 foot of movement? Because he shoved well, you away, you are more than 5 feet away from him now? Uh, well, I'll move back another 5. Actually, no. I'll pull out my scimitar. Because I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm, I'm, actually I'll pull out my rapier. Because I am not a ranged person. <laughs> I'll pull out my rapier. And be like, we got you surrounded, dude. And you it's probably, it's probably best for you just to give it up. As I go, as I give, um, Kaylin farting inspiration. And like, I, I promise we won't be too awful. Let's like it. <laughs> Plus, maybe if you're lucky, I may give you a little bit of a lap dance. If you're lucky. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> Say, I'm what shaking my head like, <laughs> like wow, surrender okay. and I'll give you a lap dance. <laughs> What? <laughs> Alright, is that your turn, Aaron? If you want me to roll persuasion, I can. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not needed. Legit. I'm literally just over here with the rapier, but also kind of shaking my hips a little bit. Going... Alright, so... <sighs> I think that's good. I'm gonna be disappearing in a moment, so I can get in too much. No problem. While facing Aaron, it is not a bandit captain's turn. Mm -hmm. oh, I hope he doesn't shake me. <laughs> well, he well, tosses another me. dagger at you, but because he's not looking at you, he misses. I was about to say, I'm standing right next to him. Well, he's. Yeah, yes, he's looking he's... at me. Yeah, he turned around he and throws face the me. dagger at you and goes, You're a troublesome one. Spins, pulls his great sword, and swings at Varden, who is behind him. Yeah, lol. With a. 15. No, 17, 5. 22 to hit. Yeah, it. it... My, my AC is 15. Oh, yeah, he rolled a 17 anyway, so. Let's see. Okay. I have 26 plus 7 hit points. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> uh, they can't do that. Uh, okay, make sure I'm reading that right. Ah, stop it. No, no, that's the wrong. Me. That's the wrong dice to roll. He won't kill you, but it's gonna hurt. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, you'll still have a hit point, so you'll be a hundred percent combat efficient. So as he spins and hits you with his sword, you take five points of damage. He swings a second time, but you are ready and definitely step the hell out of his way. Oh, that was a, a really points. weak hit. <laughs> swords aren't that powerful. It's like great yeah. sword, so two d six. Uh, no, it's uh, if or, it's uh, if you two yeah, hit, I think. You only have the option to two hand great swords. Uh, it's the long sword that you can one or two hand. Right, right, right. Sorry, my bad. Did I say great sword? You did. Yeah. That's my bad. He's only got a long sword. Ah, that makes more sense then for the yeah. damage roll. <laughs> well, I guess, like, even then, he'd, like, yeah, it'd be a low chance, but he'd still probably, you know, only do a specific amount if he was very bad at his roll. Yeah. I figured it'd probably do about 10 points of damage, which still. That actually only took, like,. <laughs> Five of my seven temporary hit points away. Yeah. So then he is 
bound, so it is Rosia's turn. I can see the bandit guy, the bandit leader, right? Yes. yes. Okay. With both Varden and Kaelin standing next to him. Oh, lucky I'm not aiming at you. I like how everyone binds these dudes, but never asks the investigator, hey, can I take your manacles off your hip? We <laughs> don't have the manacles. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, I, I like how none of the areas, like none of the times have come up where it's like, can we take the manacles? I also didn't know you had manacles. Yes. Uh, the uh, in investigators, like, uh, their backgrounds come with, like, manacles. Mm -hmm. uh, if you the, pick certain things. The bandit leader's not, or bandit captain, or whatever. He's not bound, right? The other guy is? No. no. It also requires a DC. Yeah, because he, he shoved deck. Aaron back, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, his suggestion was to surrender. He surrendered, and that ended the terms of his suggestion, leaving him completely free to act on his own again. Well, that's the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. Because I because I am a cheeky bastard. Yes, you are. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a shot at him with the pistol I have, and I have a feeling Blade's gonna look at me and go, "Why?" But I'm using dazing right. shot. Oh. Basically, if he if it well, hang on, I'll explain it. If I actually hit him first, shut your mouth before you start talking, Zozo. It's all good. Me. I can't see what that is because it's dark. Uh, John, the thing I sent you is the manacle. <laughs> That's a 15 plus 8. It's like, what, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Just 20, like, imagine 20, if you put those on 23? the hands that ankles. <laughs> it was a 23 to hit him. 23 hit. Like both of them. Okay. So, okay, so then he takes, doo doo doo, I need to freaking find a d10. I hate d10s. Like, where's my phone? I'll just freaking use that. I don't know why I would say why. I used dazing shot on Vizlari. No, oh, my yeah. my brain just went. It, never mind. My brain went. It's my only, brain. They only get disadvantage on attacks that, that they do. I know. Okay. So I click that button. Okay, so he takes 13 points of damage. You need to make me a con save of 14. And he rolled a 13 plus 2. Damn. Dang. Okay, so he does not have a disadvantage on his attacks. So your shot hits him and that armor just sucks up that damage? Mm -hmm. He stumbles, but now he just looks more determined than ever. <laughs> um... So, what else do you do? Do you do anything else, more accurately? I'm gonna move further away from him and put my put a tree between me and him. Okay. That's good. Nice. Pretty. So he is bound. Oh. He is dead. He is uh, dead. So now we got Varden. There's my inventory. I used a bullet. I need to minus a um, bullet. So it's my turn? Yes. He's Bound, you said? There we go. Nope, not the captain. No, oh, the captain. Not, okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the, ca um, the captain's not no, bound. But... Equip the freaking stuff. There we go. <clears throat> Bye. Wait, what he, happened? He's not no, down, or he's still up? He's still, he's up. still up. He's holding a long sword. Okay. Uh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Um. So what happened? Okay. He pulled a long sword and yeah. swung twice at uh, Varden. I wasn't going that long. Uh, Rosia shot him. Oh, yes, that too. Aha. I'm going to oh. point at him, and he needs to make me a wisdom 14. Mm -hmm. As I cast Toll the Dead on him. Natural 20. Oh. Oh. But I, I, I can't really. 
So, is the guy still up? Yep. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering what happened. Something else. I, I, I wanted to hit him. Jaden! You don't need to do that, especially when I'm in a D&D &D game. Go, shoot. You're in a D&D &D game? Yes. Oh, that, that doesn't that really... Do wow, I didn't realize that didn't do anything. Monday, Wednesday, yeah. and Thursday. And it's my turn. I will run down the All right. Uh, Kaylin, your turn. I need to get please. You can give me a wisdom saving throw. Side cash Tasha's hideous laughter on him. Eighteen. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> he apparently has very good um things. He's getting a good round this round. He got kind of a shitty round last round. Well, uh, well hey, it balances. <laughs> uh, do you do anything else? Wait, what is Tasha's... It just make him laugh and fall prone and become incapacitated. All right. I'll just see if there's anything if he succeeds his throw. Nope. Oh, okay. Damn. Too bad that Toll the Dead didn't work. That would have been a D12. Um, I'm going to take the free strike as I scramble behind a tree because... That sword is not where I want to be. Run away. And he is gonna take he is gonna take a swipe at you. And apparently his luck has ended as he is just completely whipped swinging that blade. Really? Uh -oh. He came he came nowhere near you, so He's a wizard, oh. he's nimble, he went wee. I'm like, my AC is not that great. <laughs> well he rolled in that one, so That'll do it. Oh, <laughs> God. What did I do on my turn? Sorry, I wasn't here for my you turn. Haven't gotten so. to your turn. You are actually oh. coming up. You are next here. Oh. That was my turn. So is that going to end your turn, Caitlin? Yep. All right. All right. Aaron. <laughs> what do you do to ugly? <laughs> it sounds okay. You know, it's not very nice. I gave you an offer. You know that, right? The bitch. Mm. Right. You're too pretty for me. Uh, I'm not too pretty for anyone. That's funny. You're too pretty for me, so I won't accept your offer. No, right. This dude apparently okay. knows that he's not good enough. Alright. Uh, I need characters. I need Aaron. I need to know my place. Hit. Plus oh, six, okay. That would be a uh, 19 on the dice. With your rapier? With my rapier. So that'd be a, 50, that'd be a 25. Dang. That will hit. Alright. Oh, excuse me. I get. And I'm also using sneak attack on them, too. Mm. <laughs> Why? Right. It, but she's not high enough to get sneak attack. Damn it! Well, that's crap for damage, though. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, twelve points of damage. Mm. I stab him in the back. Alright. You get him in the back, and what exactly do you do next? I go. I go. Come on. You know. <clears throat> I'll try. I'll try and persuade him. Going. You're not too pretty for me. I'm even offering, but you gotta surrender. Just to let you know. Pretty ones are always worth more trouble than they need need be. <laughs> Don't say that to any woman in today's age. Yeah. 
And does that end your turn? That's end my turn. That's it. It's my turn. So he's going to make his attacks. Oh, I need. Let's see. 17 to Aaron to hit. Uh, that hits. Does four points of damage. Uh-huh. Spin back around, gets a 18 to Varden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he really wants you, Varden. Ah! Uh, he may be using the guys. <laughs> Ooh. Not a really solid strike, though. Because he only does four more points of damage to you. To me? Yep. Aha, your lousy arm can't do shit. <laughs> and while he's doing that, he is going to do... <laughs> 15 to Kalen. That hits. For four points of damage. <laughs> with his dagger. Four, four, four. <laughs> I was gonna say four, four, four. Okay. <laughs> Owie. Four, four, four. Owie. So here's Owie. Uh, absolutely horrible. Rosia. You are up next. Okay. Well, I'm going to peek from... I'm going to peek my head from around the tree. Yeah, you know, we just wanted to have a conversation. You didn't exactly need to do that. All we want is for you guys to stop harassing the farmers. Are your lives really worth that? <clears throat> Itchy. I don't know if you want me to roll anything. Itchy. Or not. I, it... My head itched. Uh, oh, my heart. How did you sh oh. how did you twist your ankle anyway? A roll looking, at looking where she was going. Yep. Ah. I was not looking where I was going. Silly silly goose. Uh, does you know, he have a funny, retort to what I said or no? No. Okay, I'm being ignored. Awesome. Yeah. When I get no answer, I'm just going to sigh, shake my head, and take another shot at him. Why do people love to throw their lives away over stupid things? Oh, my dice got stuck. There it goes. I'm not going to take that because it got stuck in my tower. Stop that. That's better. Ish. Where's my thing? Eight. Nine, ten. Does a fifteen hit him? Fifteen just misses. Damn it. Oh, damn. Mm. Uh, where the fuck are my bullets? They're there. Yeah. What do you do next? I'm just gonna go back behind the tree. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn back and put my back back against the tree and just wait for my next round. <laughs> There's no offense, I want to use my accent search, at the same time I'm like, no. I might want to save that. <laughs> but, I know, I should have uh, done that with my spell slots, but yeah. Me. Yeah, now that's my turn. Actually, can I actually look around and see if there's anything else? Like, in potentially any more bandits lingering around? Like a quick survey of the area? You see... Nothing more than the other two bandits that are there. Although the one bandit that is heavily wounded and bound is 
awake and trying to inch away. Can I move toward? Can I move from tree to tree to get closer to him? You could easily, yeah. Okay. How? How? He's 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 more out in the clearing, so he's just trying to inch away from the fight in general. <laughs> he's inchworming. <laughs> he's like me. <clears throat> it's Sokka all over again, being wrapped up. <laughs> all right. Did I get close? Did I get close enough to him, or no? I'm just curious because we're not I mean, heat. If you're in the tree line still, it's it's gonna take him at least two more rounds for him to inch his way to the trees. Not even actually get into the tree line, just get at the edge of the clearing. Okay. If I got close enough, would I be able to hide behind one of the trees he's heading towards? Or that clearing he's heading to for God's sake. I know what I mean. Heading towards the tree line in the direction he is going. There we go. So maybe he doesn't see me behind one of the trees. There. Blah. Yes. Yes, he would be able to. Okay, thank you. Well, that's what I want to do then. Just move over there. All right. So you see this guy just kind of like trying to push his way away from the, the scene of this big old fight. You just kind of walk around behind the trees and just kind of more or less wait for him to come to you? More or less. All right, they're out, so we are back to Varden. Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> I can't do shit. Because uh, I'm a warlock. Cantrips. Uh, uh, I got no more spell slots. Can't How close is he again? again? He is right next to you. Okay, so he's... Like, like all, all three of you guys... Like, the three of you that are right here next to him, you're literally just on all three sides of him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something absolutely <laughs> dumb. BT! And it's I'm man. going to... Uh, BT, shut up! I'm gonna back up ten feet. So he'll get an opportunity mm -hmm. attack. Uh... Which he is not going to take at this time. Oh. His attention while on Kalen still, he sees you move and he doesn't react. Alright. Well this time I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hold the dead again with uh he needs to succeed a wisdom um fourteen. Oh, don't tell me to make it look good. Look for the first time. Wow. So that comes to... What the fuck is that? Two? What? He, he rolled he does a not... two? He rolled a two. I was seeing what his head for modifier, and he doesn't have shit for modifier. Okay. That's a d12, because I know he's missing health points. He is? He is? A few? Uh, ooh, that was almost max. Ten points of necrotic damage. As you guys hear a giant bell ring through the air. <laughs> I'm going to speak infernal as I cast this. Okay. You guys just hear like a very ominous bell. Uh-huh. Ding. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, so I've been rolling the wrong thing for him. Not that he succeeded, would have succeeded that anyway, but... <laughs> no, I was just rolling a straight wisdom checks for the dude. Mm -hmm. Not his saving throws. <laughs> Gosh. Which, which he's, actually got a, he's actually got a little bit of wisdom saving on there, but he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have made that round either. No, because a two would not help. Like, he would need to have a really high add-on to get to 14 <laughs> from a two. Like, I even just clicked the button and re-rolled in general. Like, I'm, I'm lazy to not... I didn't bust out any dice, so mm -hmm. I'm literally just using Beyond. <laughs> and I'm... I'm I actually re-clicked his saving throw. He rolled a 2 on the saving throw again with his plus 2, so... <laughs> but yeah. With the clang of the bell, you just... 
and Varden's Infernal. You just kind of see him bend over and clutch at his stomach ever so slightly. Mm. Mm. Is he is now suddenly not feeling the greatest. <laughs> Damn it, he's still up. Mm-hmm. You do anything else? Mm. No. All right, we move on to Mr. Zoller. Huh? Kalen. Kalen Zoller? Mm. Yes. Um... <laughs> Kalen's daughter. <laughs> we all know about Kalen's daughter. We don't talk about her. Asha said he's laughter again. Mm. Wisdom. Not 20. Ooh. Or he can do that. <laughs> what were you doing to him again? Uh, I just hit his laughter. Jesus, ah. dark. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Nope. All right. We will move on to Aaron. What you doing there, fishy girl? Fishy. Um. I mean, if you got a fish and you want to slap him with it, go for it. All right. No, I'm not doing that. So I am. How how badly is he looking? He's. Upright, I mean, he's looks like he can go many more rounds. Mm -hmm. He just looks a little nauseous right now. All right, um, Hey, Varden, how hurt are you? How hurt am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I only, I'm only, like, missing, like, six hit points. Oh. <laughs> I, it, any kill I get gives me seven temporary hit points. I, I so. understand that. Yeah. So, are you hurt at all? Shut up, Zo. I'm feeling. I'm so sorry. John. I'm so sorry. Ignore me. I'm, so I'm sorry. just hurt a little. <laughs> I'm not going with that. All right, I'm just hitting my with my rapier again. Uh, how hurt are you? How what? Give me attack. Huh? Attack? God damn critical roll. Yeah. That's a uh, not one. <sighs> oh no. Ah. Uh, you lunge at him and he just his armor just absorbs the blow and you don't even find flesh. Mm-hmm. You don't find any of the squishies. You don't find any squishies. <laughs> Anything else for you? No. All right. Come I'll, back around I will, to his turn. I will admit, I had a really cool idea when I hit did that that one though. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you said he moved a little bit. Got me send it to you to DM. Yes. Uh-huh. And BT is snoring. There you go. Excuse me. Pretty. Uh, let's see. His first attack towards Varden misses. His second attack to Varden horribly misses. Wow. <clears throat> Apparently he is very distracted. And his dagger to Aaron hits. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 
He just doesn't want another bell in his ass. For seven damage. Okay. Love her all I go. Seven. Okay. Oh, seven. <laughs> oh, she's surprised. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. here soon. <laughs> oh, he ha he hasn't thrown the last couple ones. Oh, just stabbing. you guys are in melee range, so he's just holding it in his hand and stabbing you with it. Uh, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, Again Oops. with the laffy fucking taffy. I don't want to know. What? Is that off or taffy? Oh, you're talking about what Dark's doing. <laughs> so I got distracted is... reading what Dark sent me. I, I, I just saw that after I said laffy fucking taffy. Well, it's not a half taffy. Okay, but what is? It's called a Charleston chew. Okay, but what? Ooh. It's Charleston. Like a... It's like a chewy, like, um, kind of flavor. Oh, actually, you yeah, may like this one. Does it have strawberry it's... in it? Mm-hmm. Right. They do have strawberry Charleston oh, juice. This is, um, is so this is a strawberry Charleston chew with, um, it's a chewy, um, nougat. Remember how you like nougats? Yeah, I like strawberry, I like mm -hmm. rum and strawberry and nougat. It's yeah, so chocolate it's, stra with it's strawberry yeah. filling. This is... Cool. I've been looking. Nugget. I've mm -hmm. been looking for four years for mm -hmm. something like that, and we don't have that down here mm -hmm. unless you buy the expensive chocolate. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> Strawberry cool. nugget. Uh -huh. uh, um, covered in chocolate. <laughs> All right. Uh, how how much is it? A dollar eighty nine. Okay, so when we when I move up there with you, mm -hmm. we just need to go visit your work real quick. And then I get eight of them. <laughs> oh, Ooh. okay. Nothing. Nothing. I'm not confused on anything. Ooh, okay then. Mm. No, something just happened. That's all. Okay. Oh, happened. Oh, what's that mean? Mm. I got two warnings at the moment. For what? I got a wind advisory. Um, and I got a one I haven't seen yet. Mm. Coastal flooding. <clears throat> I don't know. Right next to the coast. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, a mile if you, away. If you die before I get up there, I'm 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 just gonna like <laughs> kids, whoever is watching this, just cover your ears. I'm gonna like mm. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't got a reason to live Aww. anymore. I'm good. I'm not gonna be able to live down here very well. You could always come and stay with someone else. Ouch! Worst case scenario. You know what? You're right. I'll I'll go ask stuff. <laughs> God. What you? Well, I'm a... definitely not gonna be living with Nova. <laughs> well, you have a you have a wind advisory in in um California. Ha! Ah, fucking jokes on you. Not near me. No, it says it's all around Fresno. Eh, uh -huh, jokes on you. I'm not in Fresno. <clears throat> I'm in Clovis. I'm next to Fresno. So think of the border of Clovis and Fresno. Uh, okay, okay, and the okay, wind's okay. just circling around next to that line. Just like we can't cross. We didn't get the DLC. Hey, that's all right. I'm going to get three-day blizzard did in here. So Yeah, I just see that you have a uh, winter storm watch. Oh, no. There it is. There's wind advisory. I can't wait to experience my first blizzard. Yes, and my first snow. I think yes, yeah, so we have a three-day wind. Yep. I got. Gonna wait outside and hit Jaden in the face with a snowball. <laughs> God. Gonna pack a rock in one of them. Oh God. All right. So moving on. Whose turn is it? <clears throat> Let me move back to this here. So the bandit captain is going to give Varden and 
Aaron, you're still melee range. Are you back up? No, I'm still melee range. And I'm okay. 10 feet away from him now. You are 10 feet away from him. So Aaron is going to get an attack of opportunity as the bandit mm. turns and bolts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five, six, damn it, I went through so many different numbers. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Sounds like Kevin's having a very good night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's not even old. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Twenty-four? Uh-huh. Did you hurt your tooth? A little bit. That's really Excellent. Nice. Go ahead and roll me damage. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Sixteen. Very nice. So he makes out in a dead sprint and hits the tree line. Oh, and I'm going to chase after him. Stumbling and bleeding hard. Oh, yeah, I can't do that yet. It's not my turn. You can still move. So he, I think. He, oh, wait, no, 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 not, no, not your turn. Not your turn. You were right. I he doesn't know. do shit. It is Rosia's turn. I did it pretty on that one. Sorry. <laughs> um, Quick. Daze him. I, I would put it just gives him disadvantage on attack rolls. If I had, like, the. Uh, if I had another ability, I could actually take an aim shot at his legs or something, which might knock him down, but I don't have that. That's not what I thought you were going with that for a moment. <clears> Hi. <throat> <clears throat> um, no fudge. You know what? I still might try and take a shot at his legs to try and stop him from moving. Threatening for his knee or something. Which I know because it's a, it's a aiming for exact body part, I know I have to roll a disadvantage on that, correct? Yeah. I know certain things. I'm not entirely inept. Well, it also helps that the last time we did uh, certain points, it was like, what, last week or something? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, where is my blah? Blah, blah. Shit. I missed. I got a 14, and I know he said a 15 barely misses, so I missed. And the other thing. Get her. Alright, well, I missed the legs, so he's still moving. Uh, yes, and he, he is in the tree line, so. What about the other bandit? Is he still about where he... Well, it hasn't been his turn yet. He hasn't moved. Exactly. You're gonna die here, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die here. <laughs> what the hell, honey? <laughs> Sorry, that's my alarm, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Want to make sure everybody's aware of what's going on. Oh, gonna die here, God. giraffe falls from the sky. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm very lovely. <laughs> um, crap. Uh, screw it. I pop the axe and starts to try and do it again. See if I can actually get him to stop. And I, mm -hmm. if I do manage to hit him, I don't want to kill him. I want to incapacitate him. Just making that apparent. Uh, oh, yay! My dice wanted to like me that time. Uh, it was dead. Uh, it was that was a plus eight. Where'd my freaking thing go? Uh, Sixteen. That was a twenty mm -hmm. with the with the plus eight to hit. That's a twenty-four mm -hmm. on the disadvantage. 
on disadvantage. Yes, because I got a very nice. 16. Very nice. 16. The one was an 18, the other one was a 16, and I'm like, well, I gotta take the 16. <laughs> I need the D10. I need to click my action surge off screen. Do it to be. There it is. I'm just looking for the. Th I'm looking for the app. Ow. Well, he only took five points of damage from that. Give me your second. Yeah. Five damage. And like I said, I was aiming for his for his leg, so like a a tendon, knee, something. This entire time, you guys are also just hearing these loud thun, these loud, these like loud cracking snaps. It's like, what is that? Ow! I've never fired my gun before. Oh. So, he, you do hit him. It hits him in the leg, and he stumbles hard. Oh, okay. Good to know. I need to do that. No, sorry. I'm keeping track of my bullets. I just realized I have to reload. And he... But he is up in the trees. But... Anything else? Um, is the one bandit is still moving towards the tree line where I was hiding? I want to move to a different tree just because he probably obviously heard where the shot came from. I want to move to a different tree so he doesn't quite think I'm in the same spot. Uh, give me one second here. Or at least the one that was still okay. trying to crawl away anyway. No, 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 you're good. And then that's... Oh, no, that would be... Nope. Ah. So, with the loud gunshots, he is actually stopped crawling and is curled up in a small ball <laughs> at sudden loud sounds of the gunshots. <clears throat> Are you still moving? If he stopped... Um... Yeah, if he stopped, I'm good. How far away is the is the one that was crawling from me? Like, ten, five feet. He's about five feet from the tree line. Okay, day. Well, if he stopped, I'm gonna <clears throat> walk out from the tree line since the other guy's running. Kneel down next to him. Scared of a little bit of a uh, gunfire, hmm? Maybe this wasn't your best job option. While I'm resting, while I have it in my hand, and I'm just kind of tapping it on my shoulder. He's just quietly whimpering and. Is it? You, so you can still you can still tell that he's hurt pretty bad. Uh, are you? Did you hit the orc dude, or did you hit the um? I hit the orc. I, I hit. I hit the hit captain. The yeah, I hit the okay. captain dude. I was trying mm -hmm. to get him to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So he, he is wounded, so. And he is actually moving at a reduced pace. He, I slowed him down at least. <laughs> and I'm just going right, to keep so an eye. He's I'm just done. Gonna, yeah, I'm just going to stay dead. next to the guy and keep an eye on the bandit. Alright, <laughs> so we are back to Varden. Uh, how far away is the captain? Um, where did I go? Uh, so he's in the tree line. He'd currently probably be about 20 feet from you. Alright. Uh, he's I'm about gonna... 10 feet into the tree, so... I'm gonna fly up, then, and head to him, and I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Give me a perception, since you're flying above... Are you flying above the trees? No, I'm gonna be fly like, uh, I'm gonna be flying, like, through the trees, basically. Like, um, like I'm in the tree line, and I'm just like I guess hovering or whatever, like, eh, like under the trees, I guess, so that I can follow him. 
about. I would say for flying through the trees, definitely give me um, give me a quick acrobatics. Just to make sure you don't clip yourself on a tree. <laughs> Unless you hit it. Uh, with acrobatics, that'll be a 15. 15? You just barely make it. Cool. Hey, Thong, and... watch out for the tree. Thong. <laughs> uh, I see him. <clears throat> yes. All right. That 20. Very nice. <sighs> and so that's 2d10. That is max and eight, so eighteen damage. <laughs> so you hit him up for eighteen damage. You see him stumble hard and drop down behind a tree. Mm -hmm. And he is down. Yay. And by down, like, would you say dead? Like, I don't. I, I probably wouldn't be able to tell if he's dead. No, we're not. <laughs> no. All right, then I will not put the seven temporary hit points on yet. <laughs> All right. Mm. Kaylin, you watched him bolt off into the trees. What are you up to? Uh, well, fight's over. As far as we know. Uh, I'm gonna go to the the bandit captain that fell in the woods. Hmm. Hmm. Ouch. And what do you do? Uh, I'm seeing if he's dead or if I say if not I stabilize him over to the bandit captain yep and you say he dropped he dropped down behind a tree yep he dropped down behind a tree oh so he's still up sorry I misheard um well, I will double time it to move so I can get a line of sight on him. That'd be doable. It'll keep you still out about 10 feet from him, but. <clears throat> Anything else? Uh, since I took all my movement, nope. That's it. All right. Aaron? Uh, I'll look over and uh, make sure the... um. I see that Rose has the other one, the one I tied up. Yes. Uh -huh. I'll chase after the guard captain, too. Why not? But I won't be as sneaky or anything. I'm just going to really run oh. up to the tree and... um. Go. I'm not being sneaky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, I'm just, I'm kind of gonna go at it like a not too fast for a pace, but go and go. All right, come on. Like we've already beaten you once. We've already beaten you. Why don't you come out and we can talk? Maybe I can make sure those wounds don't kill you. And I'm going to try to persuade him to come out. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Roll persuasion. Persuasion. That'd be a 17. And you're, you're please fall on deaf ears. Uh -huh. I'm going to stand close. Like, I'm going to be kind of, um, 
by the tree. I'm in, I'm I want to get in line of sight that I can actually hit him, but not too close. If you get my meaning. Oh, understandable. Keeps you out of melee attack range. And keep me out of melee attack range and kind of go, yeah, kind of slowly lean up against the tree, going, "You do know it's it, this is this is stupid." What, Dustin? Okay, let's kind of look at my nails or something. <laughs> Dustin's up. Hold on. Do I need to go get a... <laughs> God bless it. Since they're busy, um, Jaden decided to put on um to um uh, put the scooter um tire on. Uh-huh. And um Thought that she needed to air it up a little bit before putting the actual tire back on. No. Yeah. And it's like, and then, now I can't put the tire on. So I gotta, I'm, I gotta find the tire again to be able to put it back on. Did you summon me? No. Okay, I could have sworn I heard my name. No. So currently, Varden's following him through a tree line on it with a sign. Oh, you took off again? No. Oh. No, I followed him, knocked him out of the tree, and now I'm just standing there, waiting to move up and look at him. At the moment, I'm the, I think I'm the closest one to him. And they're AFK dealing with um a little one that woke up. You that happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dusty boy okay? Huh? Dusty boy okay? Okay. 
Ah. Okay. All right. Sorry, everybody. Mm -hmm. I had an overheated toddler. Mm -hmm. Their their bed sits right on top of the vent in their oh. bedroom, so. Ah. So, with it getting colder out tonight, it's been, the furnace has been running a little bit more often, so he just got a little overheated and got a drink, gave him, gave him some nice milk, set him back to bed with a potty break, so he should hopefully go out for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, Aaron, does that end your turn? Mm -hmm. All so right. I'm, leaning, I'm kind of leaning up against a tree. I'm looking at him. I'm facing him. I'm just kind of doing this. Yeah, Checking, well, make sure my nails are good. Did I break a nail during combat? You know what I mean? Chips a nail on the rapier during that nat one. He is going to whip a dagger at you. He's still working on the line. With a nat 20. Oh, no. Well, that's only 2d4. With plus 10. That's not good, though. <laughs> not for me, though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. And that is 11 points of damage. Guess who just went down? <gasps> not you. Yeah. Oh. I, didn't expect him, I didn't expect him to actually do that. To actually hit you. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting it either. I was, um... Sorry. So. And Varden, you can take seven points of damage as he whips a dagger at you. Huh? Yeah. And then, then he, I'm joking. Then he bolts. He bolts yeah. again. Yeah. Well, I'm un I'm unconscious against the tree. This guy is just not having a good day. <laughs> and He's really not. And I also have no idea any of this is going on, as far as I know. I don't think I can see this. Well, you do not. Let me tell you something. I don't care. <laughs> She's down. <laughs> oh, he sh I think she knows that character. Oh, probably. Probably. <laughs> Just a little bit, maybe. Oh, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, Blade, we have yeah. almost a whole box of these strawberry ones. Where? At my work. Can you? Oh, I wouldn't say buy some right now. Cause oh, I got an entire box at my work, too. Yeah, well, I'll go up to, I don't know, some other Dakota or Colorado or wherever the fuck you guys are. <laughs> go to East Dakota. Much better. East Dakota uh... is what I just said. East Dakota. East Dakota. <laughs> yep, I created a new state, Dakota. Um, I don't know, Kaylin's there. Dakota. Rosia, which band did you go up to? <clears throat> Mr. Crawling Boy. Yeah. That's it, you're by Crawling Boy. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's curled up in a ball because of the gunshots. He's like, oh dear God! Um, well, the other guy's just getting lit up <laughs> by everybody in this story. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. um, so, Rosia, what do you do? Well, seeing as I have no idea that any of this is transpiring... Correct. I'm going to grab the ropes that have the one bandit and pull him up. Like, pull him up to his feet. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. And... Did you just take points of damage in real life? No, no, I was stretching my leg out. Roll that one. Stab yourself with your pencil. <laughs> no, I was stretching my leg out. And if you're talking about the weird ting, it was my fucking headset again. I need to stop playing with my hair and shit when I'm in the goddamn D&E because I keep it in my headset. There. Ow, I just did it again. I find it funny that you seem to hit yourself by going above your headset and not taking them off, like, from the side. I don't- I never said I was intelligent in some of the things I do. 
That is not intelligent. <laughs> I just said, never mind. Ugh. Uh, good times. Leave that. But yeah, no. So I pulled the whimpering bandit up to his feet. Yes. Um, with him facing me, by the way. Okay. And I put the freaking gun under his chin. All right. Like, look. Your captain ran off, who clearly doesn't give two shits about you. You're wounded, and your friends are dead. We just want you guys to stop raiding the farmer's land. Can you at least maybe be smart and not throw your life away like the rest of these idiots, in my opinion, and take us to where we need to go? Or unfortunately, are we going to have to do the same thing to you that we did to the others? Think wisely on your answer. <clears throat> yes, I am trying to intimidate. And it wasn't apparent. Ow! Well, I was going to say, roll me an intimidation. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, crap. Let's not exit out of my D&D thing. Where is my... I don't have an... Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna suck. Did my dice get stuck again? God. Okay, I'm not using that <laughs> dice anymore. I'm using the the warrior die, and it keeps getting stuck. It's got all the knobby bits on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know it does. And I know, and I know how you get with knobby bits. Ha ha ha! You are funny. Interesting. Hilarious. Um. Sixteen. To intimidate. Yeah, I rolled. I don't have a I don't have a bone I don't have a mod to my intimidation. <laughs> Would there be a possibility I get advantage due to the fact that he's already terrified? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Like kind of... Honestly, I would say yes. Okay. I was gonna oh. say, I'm like, okay! He's already spazzing out over the gunfire. Uh, I can't see what that is. Uh, I'll take the 16. The other one was a 12. 16 works. Ah. <laughs> uh. He just kind of looks at you and goes, I, I don't make the decisions and I don't know where they're at. I was just hired on to jump some people here. Oh, really? Hired by who? The, the big guy that just ran away. Mm-hmm. So all you know is that he hired you to basically attack us for no reason? I honestly doubt you don't know anything. <clears throat> he said some dudes were causing trouble and he just needed someone to show him, a, show him a lesson. I would assume he takes orders from somebody. I would guess you would at least know that much. I, if he does, I've never seen him. <sighs> <sighs> Can I insight him? Go for it. I'm actually being intelligent for once with insight. I can't see. Insight is 21. Shut up. <laughs> My dice are like, thank you! We got extra lights in the house for a reason. I can't reach those. It's 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 eye level with you. You can reach that. No, that's it. No, wait. I thought you had the top one, not the middle one. Anyway. No, but you you could tell he's sincere as fuck. 
He doesn't know a damn thing. I don't... Mm. I pull the gun back, but I reload it. I'm gonna say since you've already taken the time to question him and pull him to his feet, that'll That's be your action? action. Okay. I'll at least pull the gun away up from up from under his chin. Like, like you people right. must be desperate if you're willing to do something stupid like this. Alright. While you're harassing that poor dude, we're gonna circle back around to Varden. I figured I'd try and do something. No, no, that's all right. How far away is the guy running? Um, from where you were at, he'd probably be, be about 40 feet away by now. Uh, gonna, I'm gonna run to him, like 30 feet. Ow. Um. So, so you're, you're, you're landing and then you're gonna run after him? Yeah. Um, okay, I'll still put you a good. Ah, I'll call that as neutral. I'll... That'll still leave you about a good 10 feet from him. Okay. Uh, Elder's Blast. Huh. 15 plus 6. 21. I'd say, I'd say with the trees, give me a disadvantage. Oh, okay. Sure. At, ten. at 10 feet, yeah. Uh, 14 plus 6. That hits? That hits? Cool. New dice. Who this? 9 points of damage. As I hit him in the back. Okay. That's not... Fire, is it? No. Necrotic, I think? Force. Uh, yep. It would be force. Oh, yeah, it says right there. You see him get blasted? He stumbles up against a tree, and he uses his... Orcish trait, which I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, where he sucks it up with one hit point left. He's got the unnatural yeah. resilience or whatever. Yeah, the orc dude's got that thingy. I can't remember what the hell it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's the thing where they, like, it, it's something resilience where they're able to bring them, if they get knocked to zero, they can bring themselves back to one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Um, it is called Relentless Endurance. When you are reduced to zero HP but not killed, you can drop to yeah. one. I literally yeah. just looked up Vola. <laughs> so that might have to work. Mm. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, that ends my turn because I can't do anything. I don't have okay. any bonus actions. Unless, no, I don't have bonus actions. <laughs> I, I was thinking, unless I cast another spell, and then I was like, I have only one action. Kayla? Well, uh, I'm going to put him to sleep. As I move over uh, to Aaron. He can go to sleep. I can't find my thingy. It'd definitely be in range. It. Well, starting with the lowest hit point creature there. 
Um, Won't be Aaron... that difficult. I can say, technically, <laughs> Aaron's also unconscious. Those hit point creature right there <laughs> knocked okay. her out even more. <laughs> 31 hit points of stuff near him. And only him, because I target it so I don't hit Kaylin. I mean, uh, not Kaylin. Pardon. <laughs> don't hit yourself. <laughs> yeah, technically that would hit me too, I guess. <laughs> That's why I'm targeting it so it doesn't. Uh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I don't want to be asleep right now. <laughs> Uh, Varden angry. Varden needs to make quota. Oh, you just killed some people. I no, I did not sacrifice people. I killed people. <laughs> this is different. He has a ritual he has to go through. Alright, so you are moving to Aaron. And I would say for now, we are at a combat if you want to stabilize her. Yes. Alright, and then just go ahead and give me a med check. I'm gonna walk over to the guy and I'm gonna oh, hey, get my for... manacles. Um, actually, GM, I want to do two things. Okay. Oh no, I actually don't have rope. Okay, so I'm gonna do one thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, but it's gonna be very specific. I don't want this motherfucker running away, right? Okay. okay. Uh, Makes sense. I'm putting the manacles on his feet. Okay. Um, mind you, obviously, in order to, uh, like, break out and everything, or to get out of them, it's either a DC 20 dex check, or to break them is a successful DC 20 strength check. Unless he lock, unless he picks the lock. Um... So he's currently then, unconscious and bleeding out. Yes. So. Well, he's got one hit point. He's not bleeding out. He's got one hit point as I raise my mace and <laughs> slam it. I slam into his ankle. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. Theoretically, I got a question. Forty-two. If I break his legs, could he die from that? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because any any more technical damage to him would kill him. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. it's more like exhaustion, like how long you can stay it's up. It's not exhaustion. <laughs> well, I mean, I, uh, if you... you think about HP as like how long you're able to stay up instead of health. Well, if you wanted to, you could also specify as it is non-lethal damage, which would then mean you're not actually causing him hit I point damage. I. I think hitting a man with a mace is still going to cause lethal damage, mm. whether you say non-lethal or not. I'm just saying. How about well, thematically, with the amount of injuries he sustained, further injuries, even if they're non-lethal, would have a good chance of sending him into shock, which could then be lethal. Uh-huh. So I would actually leave it up to a roll of the dice at that point. What do you mean, roll of the dice? Easy. He'd have a percentage chance to live. Mm. To avoid going into shock. You need the sacrifice, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck, you have to do. <laughs> Fine, I'm just gonna, like, pick him up. I'm gonna drag him all the way back. <laughs> Gotta make me a dumb dead dead strength check. And I'll carry Aaron back. So give me three strength checks. Maybe. And then you... Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, 16. 
14. And then, oh, that one's actually better. That one's a 18. 18, all right. So for 30 feet, you drag him back, no problem. You get him up to the edge of the clearing. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. No, because he was... No, you need to give me two more to get him those last 20 feet. Oh, okay. 15. 15. Okay. Okay. And 17 plus 1, 18. Oh, okay, yeah. You just essentially drag him back to the clearing. Cool. What if you're he is grumbly and unhappy. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. I would say so. And I'll but he carry... is still alive. I'll carry Aaron back. All right. So everybody makes it back. I would like to. I would like everybody to go ahead and give me a perception check. Perception. I'm just gonna roll on the end of your I don't care. Fifteen. Oh, so you're back up, Aaron. Oh no! I just, I just, he said everyone, so I rolled. I was thinking more. I didn't have to carry you then, but. Oh, no! I don't think. Jesus! Hey! Hey! Good point. Is she still unconscious? She don't need to roll. Uh huh. Baby, you you can ignore my roll then. No problem. problem. (laughs) I have to go murder a doggy. I'm hungry, goddamn. Shut up, dog. Shit out here. Fuck you, parking it. Um, I got a 24, sweetie. Alright. Uh, what everybody else get? Sorry. I got the I'm highly distracted by what I'm carrying. <laughs> okay. I got a 15. I'm sorry. I, I got a good body. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Aaron, as everybody comes back, or not Aaron, um, fuck, Rosia, mm-hmm. get all you fucking people wrong. <laughs> yes, you are. Aaron, as everybody comes back, you'd rather get Aaron. thrown down onto the ground. You did it again, stuff. honey. No, I did that one on purpose. Oh, okay. Jerk. <laughs> anyway. So, no, Rosia, as these guys come back, you look up and you notice that everybody come back and you look around and you happen to notice that the other bandit. Is long gone. The one that was standing next to me? No, the one that was asleep and bound up. Oh. During all the commotion, he woke up and was able to break free of his bond. And he took off. I completely forgot about him. (laughs) Whoops. Well, someone should have crippled that man. (sighs) He was in the initiative order, so I was literally rolling both to see if he woke up. Which, he did not wake up for a lot of this. Mm. Oh. You sure Hi. He's a heavy um, we're short a person. I turn and look at the band of that that I have next to me. Which way did he go? I didn't see. <laughs> mm. He was cowering. So. <laughs> hey, you, still you, you had that thing under my chin. I was busy keeping my eyes closed. <laughs> Doesn't mean you didn't see him as you were crawling. And thing. It's not a thing. I didn't see him, and he was dead to the world as far as I knew. Well, that's thanks to our lovely wizard friend now, isn't it? <sighs> I reload the da- the freaking gun. Mm, the freaking gun. Shut up. Freaking, freaking gun. Which actually, in character anyway, is the first time you guys are actually seeing this. I'm seeing Jack Williams. What? Well, you're unconscious. The other two do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dark. Shut up. <laughs> there. Just not seeing you. Mm. Yeah. Hey, okay, you pretty much have two options here. Either A, we can take you back to town and maybe have you 
not die to either your bandit friends or to us. I don't enjoy taking lives, and clearly we're capable enough to do so as your commander over there is knocked out cold. Right? He's not dead, right? <laughs> like, I'm turning and giving you guys a look like, he's not dead, right? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna, like, feel for a pulse. Okay. okay. You can um, feel that he's, you know, you, you can feel the blood still pumping in his veins. As it's... Okay. And I'm gonna look yeah. at her. Stone cold. I think he bled out on the way here. And I want to roll deception. <laughs> I mean, it's me. Is anybody going to contest him? <laughs> Is anyone going to contest me? I if can't. I'm the truth or not? Because they, Aaron can't. And I think as far as Kaylin knows, he doesn't know, I don't think. Spell doesn't uh, tell him if the person died or not. <laughs> so a basic insight to contest? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it would be deception versus insight. Yeah, but, yeah, but, you, yeah, but yeah, but his deception versus your insight. Okay, I got a 20. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I have... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. No, that's Excuse a 22. Me. Damn. Oh. Yeah. Ah, fudge. Because I, I forgot. I was looking... <laughs> for some reason, I was looking at perception. <laughs> Instead of deception. I have a plus four for deception. Chunky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Well, I rolled a 23 to out, to out deception you. Oh, yeah. You mean to see through it? Yeah, basically insight. Yeah, yeah you would roll insight. <laughs> I did! I phrased it weirdly, okay? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> Shut up. I'm having moments, okay? Yeah. I'm being 100% sincere. Uh-huh. I <laughs> can tell you're lying. Mmm. Oh no! Not being very sincere. I'm gonna say, Nat twenty with a plus three. I think I can tell you're lying. I don't know. Can you? <laughs> I don't know, DM. Can I? <laughs> how how good am I lying? Like, do you see my eye twitch or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> what gives it away? I would say. Vargas, uh, how the hell freezes? Vargas' conviction in the fact that this man is dead no matter what brings a very serious truth to his words, even if Rose can still tell that the guy is not dead. Yet. Currently, is still breathing. I was lying well, and not lying at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Well, what Rosia chooses to do with this information is entirely up to her. I turn back to him. Okay, I actually stand corrected then. We took down your commander. What chances do you think you got? You can take me to town? You might have a better chance of surviving there than either going back to your bandit buddies who might kill you just because, or having to deal with us any further than you already have needed to. Might as well kill me now. I'm as good as dead if I go back to town. The other ones didn't exactly get into... weren't killed outright. Can I strip the commander while she's talking? I mean, I don't kink shame, so... Cool. Actually, can I tell what type of armor he's wearing? He has studded leather armor on. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's in fairly good shape. It's bloody, it's dirty a little bit, but... Hmm. Outside wanna... of a bullet hole in the shoulder and... Yeah. I want to you know, slowly take it off. off so, it, so, like, the jolting and everything doesn't wake him up. Uh, give me a sleight of hand. Oh, I also have a plus four for that. <laughs> 15 plus four, 19. Oh, no, you don't wake him at all. <laughs> cool. He nice. doesn't even notice. Nice. I'm just going to fold the leather. Put it in my backpack. Not the fold the leather, but fold like the. Knew what you no, no, I know, I know what you mean. I was gonna say, knew what you meant. <sighs> and uh, yeah. You really have no idea about anything, at all. You're just some hired gun that you just took coin to go and kill people that you don't even know. God damn it, it again. Yes. Who gave you the coin? He, he looks over at the bandit chief laying on the ground there. I was gonna say I was gonna nod towards the half the to the orc. He did. Varden, does he have anything on him that could lead us to who's paying him? I check his pockets. Every pocket. Even his prison wallet. Chunky. <laughs> I've never had to say that before, but I'm like, I wouldn't put it past Jesse to actually have someone carry something in their butt. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Uh... Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check everywhere. <laughs> what would, uh... Roll me an investigation. Okay. Oh, an investigation. <laughs> I love him. Oh, I'm good at that. I like how I have a plus five for investigation, but I have a plus six for intimidation. Uh, all right, cool, 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 cool. That's uh, twelve plus five, seventeen. You don't find shit. Uh, I look at him. Nothing here. However, do you guys got some rope? Oh, you do find uh, five gold on him. I pocketed five gold. Like, I still got some rope on me. Cool. I'm gonna need that rope real quick. I I drag the bandit with me as I hand Varden the rope because I didn't want him bolting. Cool. I'm gonna drag him to the closest tree, DM. Okay. And okay. I'm going to carefully wrap his hands. Okay. And I want to throw the rope over one of the branches, and I'm gonna take the remaining rope. I'm gonna tie it around like one of the trees and everything so that he's hanging from his hand on the tree. That way he has a lesser chance of running away and a bigger chance of pissing his pants when he wakes up naked. Okay, um, roll me an athletics to see if you make the rope throw. Oh, yeah. I want you know to do this with a blue dice. Oh, jeez. While this is ah. going on, I kind of I turned to Kaylin. Oh, that twenty. <laughs> what nice. do you want to do with one. him? And then just into the one I'm holding. <laughs> All right. You think we should take him back to town? I'm addressing Kaylin that question. If nobody heard me say that. Yeah. Um. I mean, between the gob, between the grouchy goblin, as you guys call him. Migotelia, Sigmund, and whatever else might be running around. Well, I don't know Sigmund's made it wrong. clear that someone's watching him and he can't actually do his duty if we bring him in. Varden, do you have any ideas? Do you have uh... any idea who's watching the city? At all. I, I don't I, I, I don't know her name. Her name? It's a girl. What does she look like? I I, I didn't see her. All I know is I heard her voice. I heard him talking to her. Where? He had something earlier. 
he was talking into it. I heard a woman's voice, and that was it. It was back by the river before we set up watch here in the in the trees. Do I hear this? Yes. Can I check if because I didn't check the armor, I checked his pockets and him. So I want to see if there's any like hidden pockets in the armor that I picked up from him. Okay. I'll save you the investigation check. There's nothing in his armor. Nothing in his armor. Nothing in his pockets either. Nothing in his pockets, nothing on his purse. What did the yeah. woman sound like? A bitch. She had a soft voice. It sounded young, but... <laughs> I've seen some old women with some pretty young-sounding voices. You will not remember. Let's back up the river. Okay, so we have to backtrack. Anyone Arden. know how to heal? Um, Erin does, but she's still unconscious currently. <laughs> and I mean, there's also saying you can't do a medicine check to stabilize the guy so he doesn't die, but we have a point. Well, that would still only get him to like one hit point. So. He's, he is at one hit point. Stabilize would put him at zero. It doesn't need stabilizing if he's at zero, one hit point. I was going to say, as far as I knew, the orc was at one hit point from the, rent, the yes. relentless endurance. Okay, I was just like, wait, what? Well, we don't know uh, that he did relentless in turn. That's very true. I know. I'm gonna go investigate the tree that he decided to climb up for weird reasons <laughs> when we were chasing him. Oh, he didn't climb a tree. He just, he just, when he stumbled after the Elder Blast, he stumbled and ducked behind a tree. Hmm. I'm gonna go investigate that tree. Kind of retrace his steps to see if he dropped anything. Varden, what do you want to do with this one? What, the guy on the ground? The guy I'm holding. Oh, let him go. Let him go? What's he gonna do? He's dead over there. He's dead with us. Dead back at his other group. No, I'm just a little surprised, because that's what I was going to do. I just was a little surprised by your answer, that's all. Just break his legs. If he can't survive, then... Wow. Jesus. <laughs> then fuck him. I'll be... He's not, he's I'll not be strong enough, then. Damn, Blade. And you can tell that he's being 100% honest in this. As, like, he's act like he's taking off his coat. <laughs> and everything. And he's, like, putting it next to the tree. Like, folding it. So, um, where, where is I? Where am I? You are laid down next to the stump. Okay. I'm laid down next to the stump. Okay, I'm next to the magic stump. Sorry. With my coat as a pillow. Because, okay. you know, I'm not a jack wagon. <laughs> I want to did the wood. The, the words. Is the bandit I've been talking to, does he still have weapons on him? I know he's bound, but I'm just asking. Hmm. Yeah, um, he still has his sword. Okay, I want to take that. Okay. Give yourself one standard longsword. I want to look at one of the dead bodies, and I'm going to drag it over to the tree. Oh, he did that. I think I know what he's doing. And I'm going to look at the band. Okay. You okay. Want, you want your life? Run. And I cut the bindings on him. You will not get a second chance. I said just you take it. What little life you can actually have. It kind of... turns and walks backwards away from you guys slowly towards the river. Towards the stream, I should say. Keep calling it river, but... It's alright. Does he yeah, turn around yeah, yeah. and run afterwards? After about... 10 feet, he kind of walks towards the stream, just kind of glancing over his shoulder, and when he gets to the stream, he just kind of bolts down the stream. Fireball. <laughs> In his back. <laughs> I 
I don't roll a hit. <laughs> if you're serious, go for it. Yep. Uh, 17. Oh, he's such a dick. God damn it. I don't know how to the roll compass here. Do I roll? It's 17 hit? 17 hit. Okay. Oh, poor Blue dude. dice, don't fail me now. <laughs> Nine. Oh my god. Well, he had one weird. hit point, so yeah. <laughs> Just seize him. <laughs> I turn, I'm like, really, Varden? Just a big Criminal. poof of. Just a big plume of fire, and he just falls face first into the water. Instantly gets doused out, but he doesn't get back up. And the stream, the current is strong enough that he, you see him just slowly inch <laughs> downstream. <laughs> Good like his start. body bobs, his body bobs down and hits the bottom, and then it bobs up and floats over like an inch, and it's just, so it's literally just one <laughs> inch about every two seconds. Oh man, oh, I've been waiting for a moment like that in any D D game where someone just runs away, and I'm like, I just, uh, I'm just shaking my head at you. Like, I'm gonna strip the dude that I dragged over to the tree, and I'm gonna. Uh, Start collecting blood from him. It's like, pardon. Okay. And I'm gonna start drawing symbols on the dude on the tree. <laughs> Did you say it was a long sword I got? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Yay. Just gonna outright perform a ritual in front of everyone. I just wanted to add it. Not yet. Well, anyway. well, I'm gonna go walk over then, shaking my head and just in utter disbelief, like. Okay. I would say Aaron. I I was about you're stable. You're, I say she's stable enough that you can start coming too. I was literally about to say I was gonna walk over to her and check on her. <laughs> there we go. Good. Go. Good game. Go. There you go. Well, that was not a good nap. Did we go? Uh, we got things. <laughs> things. Well, the oh, commander's okay. well, the commander's down, and I don't have no idea what Varden's doing with him. The one bandit that was bound got unbound, and the one that was bound and asleep woke up, got out of his boundings, and bolted. No idea where he went. And then the other one that was bound got terrified by this, and I'm still holding the gun. And I proceeded to question him, went to let him go, and then Varden shot him in the back. So, however, we did find out that. The commander was talking to a woman earlier up the stream a little bit. Talking into an item. Talking into an item about the pretend the people who are watching the city. Mm -hmm. Said it was a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, I will um, heal myself a little bit. Because huh? I hurt. I'm, I'm going to look for a dagger real quick. <laughs> I'm going to stow the gun. I'm going to... Yeah, she... Do I find anything retracing his steps? I got six hit points. You find... Two daggers. You can see the bloody pile where he was leaning against the tree for a moment. But uh, nothing. Can't... Oops. Can I investigate the area and see if I can spot... Um... Potentially see where that other bandit bolted to? Um, yeah, you can go to where you last saw him, and then just give me an investigation. Uh, 17? Hey. You can see the rope that had been, that he had managed to shimmy out of. Excuse me. A few feet away from where his body was when he was bound up. A few scuff marks where he shambled off and snuck away. But then his overall presence just disappears into the forest. Okay, so I can't. Uh, uh, so I can't track him. You can try. You're gonna need, me, need to give me a nature for that one. Probably. I do look at um. I go. You said that they were talking to a a, a, a female. Yes, soft spoken, uh, but female. Do you know where? Do I what? Uh, yes. Do you know where? 
Yes, up the stream, um, up the stream a bit, back the way we came. Uh, I'm gonna go check out that area, since I have nothing else to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Varden is, like, being, Varden's being Varden. Varden is being uh, Varden. Not too. Varden is being something that no one's ever seen before. <laughs> Which I, I, I do like that going, going, please don't kill him, we do need information, you can see if you can get him later. I know, I'm just prepping him. Okay. Lovely. As, I don't know if I find any daggers nearby from the ones that he's thrown. There's one oh, the on one? the ground. No, of, of the ones he's thrown, you did also find an additional four daggers on his body. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, thank you, Dice. Cool. I'll press right down four daggers. Today. Uh... That was uh, 17 for nature? Uh, Ow! I'm gonna strip that body that I have in front of him, and I'm just gonna, like, yeah, like I said, eh, just get all the blood and just start writing symbols on the body. Mmm, chunky. Yes. So there can it words. Excuse me. So, I'm gonna actually call it here since it is now almost one o'clock my time. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> I did not realize it was that late. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was having way too much fun. <laughs> so, don't stop the stream yet. I'm not. So before we before we wrap it up, as you all wake up, or wake, wake up, up. <laughs> uh, as you are all going about your little self-assigned task and getting ready, as Aaron gets near the uh, stream, out of the bushes pops Shovel, who just kind of looks and goes, "Hi, hi, hi," <laughs> and that's where I'm going to end it. I was wondering where Shovel was hiding this entire time. <laughs> like, where the Fucking shovel. Uh, shovel was taking a nice nap. <laughs> shovel was taking a shit. Like, I, 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 literally was, I, did, I literally just go, hey, hey, hey. Howdy. I, I love Jesse's invitation away, please. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> here, here, here. I fucking love it. Give me a level. Uh, you gained 140 experience. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Which what's that? What is that? Uh, sixteen hundred and forty. Okay, I just want to make sure my I had mine correct. Yeah, we ain't level. No, we are far from leveling. Yes. <laughs> you too. Fuck. Hiccup. Hiccups are annoying, I agree. Oh wait, what's our XP supposed to be at at the current moment? Total? 1640. 16, I'm at 1650. Whoops. I messed something somewhere. Mm, just subtract 10, you'll be the same as everybody else. That's what I'm doing. Okay, 16, okay, 1640. Okay, okay. And then I will. I, I gotta compile my notes here a little bit, but there is definitely some fun ex bonus experience added to all this, so it won't be enough to level you, but it should get you a little bit closer to the exact half mark. So, I uh, once uh, I will be doing an intense interrogation with this man, and by intense, I just mean I'm gonna be slapping him over and over. Until I get the results, and then afterwards, this man's not gonna look like a man anymore. Oh my. Well then, okay. For the out, we'll I've take that as to leave. Torture. I know you've studied torture, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna stop the stream now. <laughs> uh.